Hi guys, I'm Ram Agarwal. You are watching my channel 52 Pixels. Let's get started. So as you can see this is the image that we are going to work with today and as you can see this is the image like it's, uh, it's a little brighter and the stars are not quite exposed in this one. So to work with that what I'm going to do is just go to tools and in tools we have this option called as tune image. So just working with the tune image what I'm going to do is just reduce the brightness so that it gets its night look so it's going to be around minus 50. So I've reduced the brightness and as you can see the image is already looking better but again uh, I, I guess we should increase the sharpness of the image so I'll go to details and I'll just increase the structure because as you can see over here the stars are present in the image but they are not just getting highlighted so I'll increase the structure all the way up to let's say plus 54 percent so as you can see this is the change and it's looking quite better already now what I can do is using the pre-applied filters that photoshop provides to us i can just uh, kind of use this filter called as pop so as you can see it's already becoming so good and i just don't have to do all of these because this filter called as pop is doing everything for me now i can again go to tools go to tune image and i can reduce the brightness of the foreground and to reduce the brightness of the foreground i'll again keep the brightness as around let's say minus 48 and now what we can do is just go to view edits and i can mask this out because i don't want it to get applied to the stars as well so to make it get applied to only the foreground what i'm going to do is just use this mask and just paint it over in the foreground so i'll take it all the way up to 100 percent and as you can see it's already becoming darker just the way i want it but it has been applied a little extra on the stars so i don't want to do that i'll remove that effect and somewhere it's going to look like this so once I just click on ok you are going to notice the difference so this is the before and after so only the foreground has got affected not the stars now I can try to work on with the complete image so for that I can start working with let's say saturation but if I increase the saturation it's not looking that good so let's leave that saturation part we will work with saturation in Adobe Lightroom. Let's go to structure. Structure should be increased, but not now. So again, I'll just cancel this effect, I guess. I'll have to cancel this. Or I'll just keep the structure as plus two. That won't affect my image much. Now go to tune image and I'll just work with ambience or let's say highlights. So highlights, I'm going to increase all the way up to 17 and shadows, I'm going to reduce to minus 16 so that the stars get highlighted and the shadows become like the image overall becomes darker so it has got the characteristic of the night that is darker colors and brighter stars now i can just go to curves so currently it's working on soft contrast yours might be looking like this neutral and as you can see we have all these options for curves but we are going to use soft curve a uh, soft contrast curve and i can just click on ok so it's looking dark and it's looking actually good but it's like looking very dark which I don't want so I can just undo this one and now what we can do is just I, I just want to work with the temperature so we can go to white balance and I'll reduce the temperature so that the image looks cool and those stars get highlighted even more so I've got that blue effect so temperature is going to be minus 35 and tint I'm going to increase to around 35 let's 25 and as you can see we, we are getting all that purple shade that milky way or the galaxies have or they are supposed to have we don't know so the tint is 31 for the time being and it's already looking very good just the way i expected it to be now i can just use the brush and work around with the saturation so i don't even have to wait for lightroom to work on with this one i can just use this brush and even that is going to work quite well so i'll just use my brush over the main galaxy because as you can see that is the part which i want to get highlighted in the image and i'll just brush over and over again to the bottom part which has that purple tint it's because i want to make it highlighted and i want to enhance the color of that 
so i have kind of worked with this one so as you can see this is the before and this is the after and it's looking definitely better than before but the image is still noisy it has all that grains if you see if i just zoom in it's looking like grainy and noisy which i don't want so i can just export this one to lightroom so that using lightroom i can reduce the noise and i can work with finer color adjustments in lightroom as well so let's get to lightroom i'll add to lightroom and wait for it to get added to lightroom okay so as you can see from notification i've got that import has been finished we can just straight and move into lightroom and in lightroom this is my image so first of all we are going to reduce the grains of the image and to reduce the grains i have this option called as details go to details and under details just slide the noise reduction slider to let's say 39 40 percent so that the effect doesn't look that bad and we can just compare before and after so as you might have noticed before was quite grainy and after is a little less grainy so same way with color noise reduction i'll take it to 22 and this is the before and after now i can just kind of work around with different effects so what different effect i want i want to uh, reduce the blacks so that image looks a little darker and increase the whites again this is the before and after it's looking quite good now let's work with saturation vibrance and temperature so saturation is going to be plus four not too much vibrance also plus four not too much just a little subtle change now using the mix i can just change the colors so as you know i want to remove this yellow part so i can just click on orange i can work with the hue and i'll reduce the saturation to minus 64 percent i i don't know that is not working because as you can see it has all those lines and stuff which i don't want so i'll decrease the saturation it's going to be minus 45 now it's looking quite better and believable now i can work with yellow color because now that has become yellow i can again change the hue and it's going to be around three not too much and saturation is going to be less it's going to be minus 35 36 luminance is going to be reduced and it's looking believable now because that orange color was kind of you know disturbing my image so now we are done with that i can just work with blue and purples so i'll just increase the hue and saturation just so that it is believable and it doesn't look that bad so i guess this is the before and this is the after okay this is the before i'm i'm not able to load it yeah so it's looking better and definitely what i wanted so i can just go to lens corrections where i can just remove the chromatic aberration so that whatever wrong might have happened to my image during editing it gets resolved automatically and i guess we are done over here so i can just export this one and the file formats are going to be 100 percent and dimensions are just the largest available and i'll just export this one and we are done with this one so guys that's it for today and hope you liked the video because it took me a lot of efforts to do this one so make sure you like this video comment on this one and share this video to as many people as you can with that being said it's me ram agarwal signing off for the day see you in the next one thank you